guys, Kirsten and Lucas back here today to pick out a balloon. Which, do you want to pop that one? Yeah, pop that one. Alright, well, let's find something to pop this balloon with. So, if you're new, this is my method of spring cleaning. We are picking out balloons, and then inside the balloons are, like, the individual rooms in my house. So, each balloon has a piece of paper with a room in it. And then some rooms actually have more than one balloon, and I just got done shoveling, so sorry for my bad makeup. But So, let's get to it. Want to choose a balloon? Yeah. Bring me a balloon. Put a balloon in my hand. Oh. <laughs> okay, so he chose this one. Ready? One, two... Three. Oh, fail. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. This was the one that I feared. Did I pop the balloon? Oh, and I just wrote the piece of paper. It says kitchen number two. So kitchen part two. Let's see what this entails. Balloon. Balloon. Let me be good. Okay, so I'm just looking at my bullet journal again to see what we are doing in the kitchen today. Part two. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Wipe inside cabinets, wipe outside cabinets, and declutter cabinets and drawers. So, really not that bad. Um... Okay, so to start off with, I am actually doing the smallest drawer in our kitchen. It was my baking drawer. It had all my baking utensils and everything in it. So I just kind of cleared those out and sorted through them and decided what I was going to keep. Then I wiped it out with a Clorox wipe and cleaned it, cleaned the front of it off with the Method Wood Cleaner. Um, after I got rid of what I wanted to get rid of, I cleaned out the cabinet beneath it, which is where I keep all of my cutting boards and cookie sheets and pizza pans. Um, and then I did get rid of some of that stuff as well, and then I just wiped down the inside of that with the Method Wood Cleaner as well. In the almond scent, by the way. I don't know if there's another scent, but this is definitely just the one that I'm going to buy all the time, because it smells good. So one thing I do recommend is to keep track of things that you want to buy as you're organizing. So that's what I was doing there. I just wrote down a couple of things that I already know that I want to get for organizing. And then here I am adding contact paper to the bottom of my drawers. I just noticed as I was going through this that they were just kind of junky and there were stains on them and they were just, yeah, they just needed a little, a little touch up. So I just put some contact paper down and it worked out perfectly. And then I'm not going to put my baking stuff back in there. I just put like chip clips and some extra shutterfly magnets that I had. And then I moved on to my two drawers that I have over by the stove. Um, these really weren't doing me any good with what was in them. So I repurposed these as you will see. Um, as the video goes on, um, I did cover these with contact paper as well. As you can see, the bottom was pretty gross, and no matter how many times I scrubbed it with whatever chemical, it was not coming off. So this next drawer that I'm getting into, I kept my oven mitts and then there was some other random things in there as well. Um, I actually took out everything again. I did not put any of that back in that drawer. Um, I am repurposing this for my kitchen utensils as you will see in a minute. Um, 
but those oven mitts too i think i'm just gonna get rid of them and get new ones because i think they were dollar tree ones and i've had them for like years so they're definitely worn down a little bit and then again i am doing the contact paper on the bottom of these drawers i do recommend like measuring the bottom of your drawers and then cutting what you need off <laughs> instead of doing what i am doing because it was a struggle and it took longer than i probably should have So in this cabinet, I actually keep a lot of small appliances. I did keep food down here before, but Lucas kept getting into it and it was just more of a hassle. So this is where I keep all of the small appliances and he has no interest in this cabinet anymore. Um, so I'm just wiping it down with the wood cleaner again and then just rearranging and moving things around so I can get it cleaned up and then that's all I'm doing with this cabinet. And next I am doing under the sink where I keep all of my cleaning supplies and when I say all of them I mean all of them and I there is no reason to keep all of my cleaning supplies down here we get some of our stuff from Costco so they're like huge um, and we have a whole storage shelf down in the basement so there really is no reason for me to keep all the huge cleaning products under the sink upstairs um, that galvanized tin I actually got from Walmart for $10 I think last year around the springtime. Um, I'm just keeping like my dusters and stuff in there and then I put my European dishcloths in there too. And then I put a shower curtain rod up a while ago. But this is where I keep like my frequently used cleaning products that I just use pretty much every day that I can just reach in and grab. Um, it also gets it off the ground so you can add more stuff that you use every day or stuff that you use more frequently. So like my cream cleaner for my sink and my stove top, our carpet cleaners, our dishwasher tablets, our dishwasher cleaners, dish soap, garbage disposal cleaners. Um, and then I do have that Grove Collaborative Caddy as well. I keep all of my dish soaps in there and my dish um, drying mats. It just makes it so handy just to reach in there and grab it. And then behind everything, I just have a stack of towels. So this cabinet, as far as I'm concerned, could just be empty. <laughs> we don't use any of the things that I've kept in here so far. Like the George Foreman, I don't think I've used in like a year. Oh wait, I think I tried to make like paninis with it, but it didn't really work like I thought it was going to. So I just said, forget it and got rid of it <laughs> or and stopped using it. Um, but I did get this lid organizer a few days after I shot this video, but I wanted to get a clip in there to show you how I organized it. I put all of my lids for my pots and pans, my corning ware, and then um, also my um, cutting boards on there. It just kind of cleans it up a little bit. Um, I took it out of took it all out of that other cabinet and now that cabinet is empty so I can put something else there. Um, this drawer is our junk drawer, as you can tell. There's a lot of crap in there. <laughs> a lot of random crap. Um, so I just cleaned everything out um, and then I was very picky about what I was going to put back in there. Um, I did put contact paper on the bottom of this one as well and then I just put like our frequently used utensils 
in this one and there is some like papers and icicle holders and stuff like that but it's stuff that we use all the time and it's not just oh I don't know where this goes I'm gonna throw it in this drawer <laughs> I was trying to keep everything somewhat organized. It was kind of hard because I didn't really have any organizing baskets. Um, so I do recommend having a plethora of organizing baskets within reach when you do your kitchen. particular day is just getting the dishes picked up and then cleaning off some of the countertops and kind of reorganizing and getting myself set up for another day of cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> Definitely was not able to get it done in one day like I thought I was going to, um, but I will be back. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Clear to see from up here, the world seems small. We can sit together, it's so beautiful. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. guys so I still have quite a bit to do but I just wanted to show you what I got done today I thought I was gonna be able to get everything done in one day but that was impossible I obviously still have a huge mess like that's garbage that needs to go to the bathroom so that's it for this video you guys stay tuned for a part two and a part three possibly a part four of the kitchen cleaning um hopefully this is providing you with some awesome motivation and maybe even some organizing ideas to go ahead and get your kitchen organized and cleaned up um if you like the video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more of my spring cleaning process